Guess what? What, Brent? This episode of the podcast is in part brought to you by BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com. Yeah. They, uh, BetterHelp supports your mental health goals every step of the way. Go to BetterHelp. That's BetterHelp.com slash Poundcast for 10% off. 10%. And we're going to talk, we'll get into that later. That's but. H-E-L-P, by the way. H-E-L-P. Yeah, BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com slash Poundcast for 10% off your first month. Hmm. You know what else we're brought to you by? Who's that? And what's that? LouisvilleVeganFoods.com. Ain't that something. <laughs> Show notes. <laughs> Show notes. <laughs> Show notes. We're going to go. All you got to do is go to LouisvilleVeganFoods.com and use the code word Poundcast to get 20% off your entire order. <laughs> they make Louisville Vegan Jerky, and they make... Well, that's that's their main thing. They make other stuff. Check it out. Check it out. You, they got great flavors. It's on. It's got a. This stuff is bagged in the United States. It's got a shelf life of nine months, and you could pick it up if you don't want to get a discount online for twenty percent off. Then fine, go to the store and get it. Get it at Whole Foods. Go get it at Sprouts. I was just talking to Stanley today, actually, who runs Louisville Vegan today. Jerky. He was saying. Uh, he was saying they have a. A new flavor. They're dropping custom flavors. Yeah. Huh. Custom flavors are cool, man. I'm interested in custom flavors. I'll be honest with you on that one. All right? I'm going to be honest with you on that one. I'm trying to look it up, but Shut the Wi-Fi notes. just went out. Go to LouisvilleVeganFoods.com and use the code word podcast to get 20% off. Um, yes. Uh, um, that website... My, this is awkward, but lvjco.com. I don't know if the other one... Don't worry about it. It's going to work. I'm sorry. We'll and cut that little moment out. But yeah, louisvilleveganfoods.com. Use the code word Poundcast. It's bagged in the United States. And we're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll trim this up a little no, bit. No, no, it's good. I mean, look, people like it sloppy sometimes, don't you? <laughs> I know some of you like it sloppy. I, know, I was trying to look for their new flavors, man. Um, but I'll say this much, though. Um, look, if you want to also, uh, the the podcast isn't just supported by uh, BetterHelp and Louisville Vegan Foods. It's also supported by viewers like and listeners like you. Mostly okay? by listeners like you. Yes. If you want to support and also get something out of it, too, you get a nice little bonus you go to patreon.com slash poundcast and you can get a if you subscribe you get bonus content and you know i'll tell you we get into some real fun stuff when we go what's called after dark which is after we do the regular episode we go about an hour we go an extra half hour to sometimes an hour and we do bonus stuff and we get into it and we have lots of laughs and you're gonna love it you're gonna have fun and i will and say by the time we get to the after dark we're already warmed up oh yeah things so get, that's and, you know what? and i'm gonna say this after dark on this one you're definitely gonna want to check out it gets kind of juicy this one does get juicy it gets juicy you're gonna want to check it out and also um if you want to check out video youtube.com slash the poundcast um, That's right. If you want to do that, there's an Instagram and a, and a Twitter account, which is the Poundcast all, as well. And I think that covers everything, doesn't it, Doug? Just about. I want to just say a shout out to All Things Comedy. Thank you, All Things Comedy, for hooking us up with the sick studio. And I would like to also say I'm opening for Tenacious D in September. Go to tenaciousd.com for tickets. And please, I need to load up these venues with some pound pimples right because, you know what i'm saying because it's going to be an aggressive crowd if uh, i don't know <laughs> no but i mean i think that people are such sometimes big acts their fan base is so so hardcore about just the right they, they don't want for it then they don't want to see any opening open. acts so you got to get some fans of yours in there to sort of balance it out you know i plan on making new fans yeah and get but i want to see some classic pimples there too yeah so uh, we'll see you there, and uh, let's get on with the show. Let's get on with the show. It's a fun episode. It's one-on-one. -on -one. You see how it goes. You know we got some we voicemails it. we're going to listen to. Let's go it. 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 Roll the clip. Roll the clip. Show notes. Show notes. Show notes. <laughs> Da 
Doug and Brad talking to each other. Doug and Brad, what will they talk about today? Doug and Brad are talking to some pimples. Doug and Brad will talk to their friends. And Doug and Brad talking on the Poundcast. Welcome to Poundcast back to back. <laughs> back to what back. if we went back to back? <laughs> We don't even look at each other. We got to do a back-to-back episode. <laughs> there, people are like, oh, so there's two in a row? No, it's back-to-back. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. That is hilarious. Because you know how, like, Billy Joel and, like, Elton John did, like, face-to-face? You know, two pianos, like... Yeah, that's so back funny. Back-to-back. Back-to-back, and they think, oh, yeah, that is so <laughs> funny. Oh, you're doing two episodes. Two episodes? No, no, just one episode, but it's back-to-back. It's back-to-back. <laughs> that is hilarious. All right, what are we going to do? You know what would be funny is if we did... Back to back, and we touched backs. Yeah, our backs. That's are what I'm t- saying. Oh, back really? to back. <laughs> We're on two stools, back to back. <laughs> Be so sweaty by the end. Just big sweaty marks. <laughs> well, what have you been up to lately, Brent? Oh, I've been house hunting. Can we talk about why? No, <laughs> I don't want to say why, but uh, no. I mean, look, there's a lot of reasons why, to be honest. But I don't how long have you been at your ho- at your hotel? At my hotel. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of like a hotel because you don't, you never really yeah, you, touched it up. You never, never personalized it. Well, right? you kind of left it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It was always a temporary situation for 12 years. <laughs> temporary. Uh, well, hey, 12 years is temporary. Um, well, every, you, even if you buy a house, it's going to be temporary. No, it, well, it is now because of what I can get approved for, unfortunately. I had much higher hopes. I had uh-huh. a vision, a dream, and it's been crushed by. Well, it's been compromised. It's you're, certainly been you compromised, still get, yes. You're still going to approve for something, right? Uh, yes, but it is much like you're lower gonna, than... You're going to get a yurt. Huh? You're going to get a yurt. A what? A yurt. What's that? <laughs> a yurt. It's, mean, it's like a tent thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A teepee. It's I like get a, it's I like get, a next level I'm going to actually tent. be able to afford a teepee. No, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a studio teepee. <laughs> Um, and uh, how the many ba- fire the, ba- pits? The, the bathroom is actually out. It's, got, so it's uh, out in the dirt, basically. Mm-hmm. It's outside. The, it's an outdoor. It's an outhouse. It's a zero bath, one bed. Uh, yeah, a yeah, TV. Zero bath, one bed. Um, it's uh, it's great for single people. Yeah. Have you been like going to those house openings? And I yeah, I went to some houses. And they're like, hi, sir. But and then I, did you get any free cookies or water? No, it wasn't like that. No, they're not like that. Oh, maybe there was the TPs water. Don't but have I said that. I don't need it though. Yeah, t- well, TPs, you have to forge it yourself. <laughs> They're like, well, there's they a say, river out there's, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... You want to get... <laughs> you might find some gold, too, if you're lucky. You know? <laughs> some gold. You can help... That can help make your down payment. Um, so, yeah. No, it's time in my life that I need to move. Move and I just can't wait for that invite for the housewarming. I don't know if I will. To be honest, I'm not going to feel... Are you ever going to have a guest over? Oh, absolutely. In fact, I'm getting a place that has... I mean, not getting a place. I'm searching for a place that at least has one and a half bathrooms so that that half bathroom can go to the Send guest. Send those guests to the Send half. Send to the guests. You never got to touch that half. Right, right. You're never touching that half. That's the guest half. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, You can have like a guest couch. No, no, like no, a, no. a place you would never sit. Like you, well, got, no, your, no. you got your spot and uh, well, you guest sit th- over here. This is, the, this is the goal is to have at least two bedrooms and at least one and a half bathrooms. And that's mm-hmm. probably what I'm going to get, you know? So it's going to be a two bedroom, one and a half bathrooms. And one, one of those bedrooms is going to be sleeping. Obviously one bedroom is for me, <laughs> <laughs> meaning that's where I'm going to, that's my special. Right. Place. No one's ever going. In no there. one. That's my special place. It's not, that is not my bedroom. No one's going now. The guest not can, even a wife. Right. That's, that's a keep out situation. Now, as for the, at the living room, though, hey, you can go there, you can sit there, whatever you want to do. You can use that half bathroom. <laughs> do as you please. By the way, I just went to uh, Tony's Darts Away. Yeah. And uh, it's a bar, local bar here, but they have a good vegan um, menu. Yeah. And the guy brought his dog in. Uh huh. He said, no dogs. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but they, were, they brought him outside. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, I thought you'd like, to, I would, you'd like to hear that. I would love hearing that. I like when they in, enforce classic... Classic rules. Classic rules. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I was thinking of a different word, but um, anyways, yeah, so... Um, well, we wish you luck. And we I want, hope I get you know, the house. Do keep us posted. I mean, here's what I'm saying about housewarming. Mm-hmm. I know that what I end up with, I'm not going to be... I know I'm not going to love, okay? Mm-hmm. Because for what I can get approved for, I'm not going to love it. But you've got to learn to love it. I'll yeah, maybe I'll learn. Maybe this is my. We're kind of starting things off with my thing is that, yeah, maybe I'll learn to love it, or I'll like it enough that I'll think, okay, you know, I think maybe, you're gonna love it. You're gonna be like, wow, this is my crib. This is pretty sweet. My point is, is I don't know if I'm gonna like what I where I'm at enough to say, hey, come over for a housewarming. I think I'll just feel like I don't. It's more of a house colding or something. You know? <laughs> Well, you know, it's a great housewarming present. What? Space heater. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> hey, I got your housewarming gift. <laughs> bring a whole chimney. Bring like a a fireplace. Like a pallet of bricks rolls up. Hey, these are bricks for your housewarming. How about this? What are you this? talking about? This, this is a fireplace. This is a DIY fireplace kit. I got, I got a housewarming gift for you. Uh-huh. Take out a pickaxe. You just, say, what do I do with this? You just hammer into the ceiling, let the let a hole bust open, and the sun uh-huh. just blasts you. How about this? I got your. It's got to be a summer day. You're like, I got your house warming. Wait, I got. I got to look it up. This could be an audio situation. I got you. I got your house warming right here. Wait, you're like sounds hey. like that. Yeah. Um. Say, hey, Doug. Welcome to my <laughs> welcome to my house warming. Hey, Doug. Welcome to my house warming party. Oh, I got your house warming present. Oh, what is it? Right here. <laughs> you read my mind. Actually, you read my butt. You read my butt because I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking that could be, could have been a joke. But, yeah, there's lots of ways to warm a house. Mm-hmm. What if you <laughs> showed up naked? Well, they say, well, they say body heat is very effective. You show up all sweaty. <laughs> you show up back to back. All right, you start so going back to back. What are we gonna do today? Okay, well, look. Let me. T- I have. I've got a story to start with here, or a little funny thing to talk about. We we got a lot. We're I'll gonna check do. my list, but we got some voicemails. We got some voicemails. We're gonna go through. We got here. I, this ha- I want. This is something that happened to me recently that I thought was maybe interesting, and maybe you can give me. You have some thoughts on it, and maybe so do the listeners. I was walking down La Brea. Okay, in Hollywood, La Brea, and walking in my direction was a man. I'm just setting the setting the scene here. Okay, sure. There's a man. He looks older. He looks like he's in his 60s, maybe, and he's he looked like he was from another country, like Eastern European. He looked like he was Eastern. Just reason why I say that is there are a lot of Eastern European people in that area, and he was carrying this kind of cart with him, you know, kind of wheeling this cart in back of him. And that's how he was holding his stuff. I mean, it wasn't in a, I mean, he didn't look like a vagrant person, Mm -hmm. but he was, he was just, he looked, he looked like an Eastern European guy from the neighborhood, whatever. And I'm walking, he's walking my, towards me, I'm walking towards him. And then I turn to go into this area. And then I hear somebody yell sounded like a crazy person and when i hear somebody crazy on the street in hollywood i just i don't look over there i just keep going whatever and i hear this are you sucking some dicks (laughs) are you sucking dicks and i normally wouldn't have turned around but what immediately came to mind was that sounds like something I would say as a joke right, right in a bit. Uh-huh. You're sucking some dicks. And I thought I to myself plural. It's, it's the pluralizing the plural. of the dicks yeah. that made me think, oh, is that is a reference to my a bit of mine or something or something I had said before? Mm-hmm. And so I thought, oh, is there maybe there's somebody who's a fan who yelled that at me just now. <sighs> And I didn't know who that was, and I thought, oh, I, better, yourself. I better turn o- around to look at, <laughs> I better turn around to oh, must see. Be, whenever I hear that, I'm thinking, that must be a fan. Well, I thought for a <laughs> second, I thought, what if it's somebody who does like my stuff, and they are trying to reference something, and I thought, because right. it sounded like a, a younger voice, and so I look over, 
to see who it was because I thought, oh, it might be a friendly person who was saying that. I look over, it was that Eastern European looking guy who said it. And I looked over and he spit at me. I was far away enough that it didn't hit me, but he went, duh. <laughs> so he said. Is he pissed that you turned? He wanted, he really wanted to cross your path. I have no idea. You dodged a bullet. He man. was so upset with me, but he goes, are you sucking some dicks? Well, he's mad. And he didn't sound near Eastern European is my point. And then I turn over, duh, duh, and I just saw the spray of, of uh, saliva that just went out from him. And I thought, what in the heck is he upset about here? Why is well, he? You're walking these Hollywood streets, you know, a lot of crazy stuff going on. I know there's a lot of crazy people in Hollywood, but I just, he didn't look crazy to me. <laughs> and I, I just don't know what, why he was upset. Why would he say that? Are you sucking some dicks? He asked me a question, too. You sucking some dicks? <laughs> what? What does that mean? That's, that's something the crazy... He's a crazy guy, and that's what he was saying. Yeah, I guess he's crazy. But I just... He didn't look crazy. He wasn't acting that crazy, but I guess he was, yeah. When you said Eastern European, I thought you were gonna, I thought it was going to be Ukraine-y. You know? <laughs> You, you, Wait, are you, you crazy so, or are you crazy? You so crazy. <laughs> um, uh, do okay. Don't you think that's kind of a funny, weird thing that happened? It's also kind of, I thought it was a funny thing that I thought for just a split second. Oh, maybe that's somebody who mm -hmm. likes my comedy. You know? <laughs> well, <laughs> I was, here's a question for you. Sometimes I'm riding my bike. This happened like the other day and, um. I'm riding my bike down Figueroa. It's a busy kind of street. And I hear, Doug, Doug. And I'm like, what? I see it's somebody waving at me, yelling my name. So I just, I wave back like, what's up, man? I don't know who it is. You know, it's, I'm zooming past. They're going the other way. And then, you know, the next day, Vic was like, oh, that was me yelling your name out on the street. <laughs> That's so funny, yeah. And, but sometimes that happens. But other times, people just say, oh, I saw you riding your bike. Yeah. And maybe I prefer that oh, I, instead of a yell, unless oh, we're going to stop and chat. I, Wave me down, and we'll, if there's a reason to yell, yell. But otherwise, it's, I feel kind of startled and embarrassed and um, confused. It, that but, kind of you know, not, nothing against Vic or anyone who does that. I'm sure I've done that, too. What's up? You see your friend. You can't believe you see him in a different place. Right. <laughs> like if it's another city, you got to yell, you got to wave them down. But I, if you're just in the same town. To be totally honest, I have sometimes not said hi to someone when I saw them. Just because I thought, uh, oh. Oh, I know, do that when it's, it's not even a drive-by situation, when it's like when we're in the same. In the same store. I just thought, oh, maybe I'm in a hurry. I don't right. want to talk and I stuff right now. Get into this. Especially during COVID, I mean, the heat of COVID-19 when there was no vaccines or anything. There were a couple times I had to go somewhere, and I saw some. I saw someone in the post office, which was crowded, and I really was uncomfortable being in there. Mm -hmm. And I didn't. I saw somebody who I like, and I would have normally talked to, but I just said, "I'm going to get it in and out of here. I don't even want to." Actually, I think I was looking kind of weird too, maybe. <laughs> well, I don't like small talk, so I don't want to. Sometimes, I don't want to. Uh, I remember those deep COVID days where you got the mask. I would have the hat and the mask, and be like a. Sometimes I would have that whole thing covering my face. Yeah. And I'd be like, I know who that is, but I ain't going to say shit. <laughs> I'm going to act like I, I ain't nobody. <laughs> Pull my hat down. Oh, yeah. yeah I ain't you, try to, you try to make you. Yeah, yeah I try yeah. to like try to get, get like do a little limp or something, walk different. People don't think it's me. <laughs> I ain't nobody. You start going like this with your arm. <laughs> What is that? I don't know. Just, just turn into some like Doc, uh, Mr. Burns or something. Well, I don't know. It looks almost like a a duck. Like uh, a what do they call us? A well, no. I think doesn't, <laughs> don't, uh, birds sort of have arms like this in a way. Yeah. What's a pose you can do if you want to like not? You gotta look like. Because sometimes people can tell it's me just from like my you stance. Gotta or look my like gate. a bird. You gotta like go into a different gate. Or or maybe just yeah yeah just put your head like this. You know, to put your cheek to your shoulder. Cause, you know, but then I was getting recognized, and it wasn't even... They were recognizing the wrong guy one time during the deep COVID. <laughs> Who'd they think you were? Nathan Fielder. You got it. This guy goes up to me, and he says... And I was wearing a mask. Why I, do so many people think you're Nathan Fielder? I, Every time I post a video of you, I get, like, randos being like... Right. Uh, 
just say Nathan Fielder stuff. It's like, grow some eyes. I know. <laughs> well, people are facially blind, I think, you know. But anyway, yeah, the guy came up to me, and he was all close to me, too. This is during deep COVID when I just was trying to be in and out of a store. The guy came right up to me. I didn't even see him. I looked up. He was right there. I was doing self-checkout. He was in this other lane. I look up. The guy's peeking over the thing right in front of my face, and he goes, Nathan Fielder, right? Or he's Nathan for you, right? Or something like that. And I said, uh, I don't know. I kind of I wanted to not talk to him, so I pretended like I didn't know what that was and stuff. Or he said, he's like, are you Nathan Fielder? And I said, no, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that is. He's, and then he said, you look just like him. And I thought, how do you even know what I look like? You can't even see all your Well, they see the hair. They, they see, see the, the hair, hair and the eyes, I guess. That's it. Um, I think John C. Riley told us once that he might have been wearing sunglasses and a mask <laughs> and like a hat. And, you know, somebody walking down the street was like, hey, I loved uh, Step Brothers. <laughs> and he's just like, how the hell do you know? How do you catch that? He was like extra, you know, incognito. By the way, and the guy was co- confident enough to just say that. Right. By the way, I did a show a couple weeks ago at in a theater, a Dynasty Typewriter, and um, this couple came up to me afterwards and they said, "Hey, we love your show. Is there is there any chance there's going to be another season?" <laughs> I just at was, that point, you just got to lean into it. Oh, I do usually. Like, if you can write me a check now, I did. I oh, said, to my business manager Brent Weinbach. <laughs> we can discuss. Well, I'll uh, tell you. I'll give you the inside information. No, that's that's my joke. Is I say. Hey, um, no, but I'm going to be doing more stand- stand-up, and I actually do stand-up at, at, as a side project. I kind of go under an alias named Brent Weinbach, so just go to brentweinbach.com. And I have a whole bunch of other videos. All these other videos and, and stuff, yeah, exactly. A lot of people like that more than my show, even. No, it happens a lot. There was, But it was weird that they just saw me do 20 minutes of stand-up, and then they just thought, thought, still... I, was, they thought I was him still. How, it's interesting that well, they Well, you thought... guys are both kind of deadpan, and you know, yeah, yeah, I, you're similar, I but guess. But I do but... certain things that he would never do. Yeah, I do kind of care, certain character stuff. That's maybe different. if they saw his show once and then they saw you. Well, they like said it. they loved it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's uh, good. Just roll with it. I do. I do. I talked. I told you this before. I talked to these guys for ten minutes on the street once that stopped me. Two guys. They were talking to me for a long time, saying how much they love the show, and I just went with it. <laughs> I was. I, I do that. I usually say I'm. I'm him. Usually, if they people say that, you know. But, Anyway, um, um, what I was going to what there was um, there was here's th- another thing. Yeah. I was at a coffee shop that I go to to work. I was going there to specifically like work on the laptop, probably you know do stuff for the Poundcast. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> uh, do stuff for the Poundcast. Right, I, you know I feverishly type and figure prepare, out what we're, prepare. I prepare, prepare bits, prepare bits. I'm preparing bits. <laughs> And I see this guy I know, and he's visiting from New York. And he, you know, I lied, don't dislike him or anything, but it's like, oh, God, I'm walking right past. It's like, there's no hiding. You know, I didn't have a mask on. I was outside. It's like, oh, God, how much, how long is this going to be? And it's like, you ever do that where you see someone and you could totally join them, but you don't? It's, and yeah, they're, just, they're kind of just right over there. It's, it's not like, the right hey. time. Yeah. How much time do you put in to just get the small talk out of the way? Well, if I'm going to do small talk, I mean, it depends on the situation. What if you get sucked in? Hey, what sometimes- What if there's no out? What's your out? I just say, oh, go, man, well, I really- do the well, man, I well, I'm going to go order- <laughs> Well, I like <laughs> basketball. I no, like go, baseball. well, I'm going to go order. I should order because, oh, wow, look at the time. Well, this is what I would do is say, hey, I just want to say hi real quick. Um, I, um, I, I'm actually in a hurry right now, but I wish I, we could talk longer, but let's talk longer later. What if you slip in some really weird stuff that you have to do that confuses the shit out of them? Like somebody was talking about getting I'm crowns get, on their teeth. Be I'm like, getting my, my scrotum um, taped. <laughs> yeah, my yeah scrotum I got to go get my scrotum taped. <laughs> They're double taping it. Well, great to see you guys. You know, just leave them with something weird. Then they're I, like, oh, what? I'm actually, I'm actually really late for an appointment. I'm getting my scrotum taped, but I, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> you also got to say it's double taped. It's a double tape, actually. Yeah, it's a double tape. <laughs> anyway, great to see you guys. Have a great rest of your trip. <laughs> it's really cool to see you. I'm actually getting my scrotum taped. It's a double tape, so I got to go. I got to get there early. I got to get there 15 yeah. minutes early. <laughs> Yeah, it's a double tape, so I got to get her taped really. and threaded. And so, anyway, <laughs> I should get going. <laughs> T- 
taped and threaded. <laughs> what the hell is that? I'm getting my scrotum. <laughs> I'm getting a tape. It's actually a double tape, and it's getting threaded, so i got to be there 15 minutes in, in advance. Um, for the <laughs> I have a scrotum gap that they're clearing up today, so I'll see you guys. I, I, scrotum gap? What is scrotum like, gap? What would a scrotum tape be? I'm thinking it gets taped to your thigh or, or t- taped to your taint or something like that. You know, they t- they kind of pull it back, and then they, t- they tape I gotta, it. If you say you got to get your taint taped, they're going to know it's a joke. But if you say something... No, no, scrotum's... <laughs> Taint tape sounds tape fun, And though. threaded? <laughs> I got to get my scrotum taped and threaded. and It's a double tape. Also. Yeah, and it's a double. So <laughs> obviously I got to get there 15 minutes earlier. <laughs> what does that mean? So let me go double? grab my frap and get out of here. <laughs> but uh, no, it was really good to see you, and I'll, tell you, I'll call you after the operation. I'll, <laughs> I'll, call, I'll call you after the procedure. Oh, I'm actually getting a, I'm getting a butt lift. <laughs> I'm getting a cheek lift. Well, see, then it's then they're like, oh, he's joking. Right, right, right. Well, wait, what, why does scrotum tape? Sound I don't know. Like it sounds joking? more medical or something. <laughs> scrotum tape sounds more medical. <laughs> <laughs> then a butt lift, you know, that's like sounds like a gag. You know? Okay, fine. Well, what about then? What about a colon blow? <laughs> well, do you remember the ad? I know. Yeah, that's where I'm getting it from. Is yeah, that? colon blow. SNL sketch with Phil Hartman. Phil Hartman, yeah. one of the best. Um. I'm getting actually. I'm getting my colon blow today. I mean, can I? Colon vacuum. You could say colon vacuum. I got my pube vac at two forty-five. So <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like a joke to you. Pube vac. I, I don't know if you just say it kind of seriously. Well, yeah, you got to play deadpan. You got you to go Nathan Fielder style. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like. Well, I'm going. This is how Nathan Fielder sounds. Well, if I talk a little bit like this, he sounds a little bit like this, sort of, right? That's kind of more like, like Dan. Half, it's Dan Mintz, kind of. More Dan Mintz, it's more Kermit Dan the Frog Mintz. style. He's then, lower. Just go lower. Well, then I told him that I needed a pube vax. Lower. lower. And then I told him I needed a pube vax. Vac. Vac, vac, yeah. Pube, pube vac. Pube vac. Pube vac. Just pube vac. <sighs> pube vac the skin. Okay, um, so here, here's what we're going to do. Let's switch gears here. We have some... How long have we go, been going, Aaron? 22. 22? Yeah. You know what I'm thinking is we do this. Why don't we, we should maybe talk a little bit, do this, and then go to the uh, messages. Well, or we could do the messages now. Well, we'll do one message. Yeah, let's do Yeah. So... What's we got some voicemails. Uh, do you remember the number, Brent? I don't. Uh, know, but you could look. It's easy for you to look it up if you want. Just go to the Google Voice. We're gonna put it in the show notes um, in this episode. So we have a voicemail number. If you want to leave us a voicemail, we'll play it on the show, and we'll discuss. It could be anything you want. And it might, yeah. Could be like something that annoys you, something or advice, advice. Some one of our classic solutions, you know, just call our number or give us advice if you have advice. You know. Yeah, I wish I knew what this. Uh, huh. I think it's okay. Got, well, we'll put it in the thing. Just click. You're listening to it on a thing. If you're on Google Voice, it is just you just make look like you're going to make a call, and they'll say what number you're calling from. That's the number. But anyway, um, hey, whatever. You know, just look at the show notes. Of podcast mail. Yeah, but go to Google Voice if you're logged into that. You know, but. but uh, no, I'm not. Sorry. All right, Let's whatever. Just, Don't we'll even move worry on with this. Don't okay, worry about so it. Okay, so here's here's one. Hey, uh, this is Ed. Um, I'm just listening to the last episode of the Poundcast. I'm not all the way through it yet, so maybe you've already touched on this, but you guys should get into the etiquette of when to shower in relation to poo. Uh, my my best friend, I can't take credit for this, he came up with a little rhyme for it that meant uh, poop before shower, smell like a flower. Shower before poo, shame on you. Shame on you? So, uh... You know, marinate in that. Let me know what you guys think. Well, clearly the way to go is before shower. Poo before shower. You smell like a flower. Um, yeah. There's uh, something nice about taking a shower and then I, doing a fresh poo. First of, all, first of all, by the way, good, great message. This is a provocative message. This is going to provoke, I think, a lot of discussion. But I don't even think there's much to discuss. It's, you know. Pretty pr- poofers in the, uh, the proof, the poo is in the pudding. It, here's the thing. I will say this. Sometimes it's not, for some reason, taking, I don't, you sometimes don't need to go poo until after you take the shower sometimes. 
So, I mean, sometimes you can't control, yeah, when, when you're going to move your bowel. But by the way, if you are going to poo before the shower, don't think, let me put it to you this way. Don't put the dishes in the dishwasher without cleaning them off first. You know what I mean? Dude, yes. Wow, what a great analogy. <laughs> what a great analogy. <laughs> um, you know what? That just gave me an idea. Yeah. The dishwasher shower. <laughs> what if instead of coming from the top, why do you have to get hit in the head with your water? Oh, why can't you get hit wow. from the bottom? Doug, this is very interesting. Dude, go from the bottom up, bottoms up shower. I mean, I could see why it's better from the top. I know. Because <laughs> it goes, gravity goes that way. But it's not just that. It's, <laughs> yeah, because it's you're like. You're spraying dirt onto you, basically. Well, there should be an option to, to go from down below. I like it. It's start, interesting. Start up and then finish down, rinse down. Okay, the first, the first coating is from below it's like you have the that second s- coat you know, is from above yeah you know when you're at the the handheld car wash you drive into the stall it's like that here's another it's analogy get, it's kind of like you rinse yeah soap and then you get the final shine well it's kind of like another for another analogy it's kind of like when you um i don't know how what your wiping process process is totally except i do know that you do wipe standing up which i is for to me a very foreign idea but um it's the best way to go but you know, after you've it's wiped athletics. one way, you've got to wipe the other way to be thorough. Now that's wild. <laughs> well, no, you don't understand. It kind of makes sense. It, there's, but... it, it, you have to do both ways. That's how you truly wipe. So you, generally you wipe from front to back. But then after you've done that and it's pretty clear, you go back to front a little bit, Are not all the down way. down below the scrot? No, no, no. You don't reach in front of you. You never reach in front of you. So you go from the back and you go shovel forward? Shovel forward a little bit, and you'll notice that there's something new there <laughs> that wasn't being gotten from the uh-huh. front to back. And you get that done, too. And, and anyway, basically, a thorough wipe is you wipe both ways clean. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's cl- you have to have a clean tissue both ways. That's how you do it. Now, going back to the shower thing, that's an interesting idea. I like it. I think it would feel nice to get blasted from the bottom. <laughs> I'm talking high pressure. Yeah, like a shower. Higher. <laughs> fire hose. Mm-hmm. Now we're getting there. <laughs> Imagine sitting on a what fire What if you hose. can install a full fire hose, fire hydrant? In your in your you shower, would, you would break a wall. Just that would tap be, that. Sh- that'd be more of a housewarming gift. You know what I mean? It would bust the ceiling open, sun shining down. House drenching gift. That would be a house. Be like I got you a drenching gift. Yeah, I'm warming. Having, Everyone's doing warming. I'm, I'm doing. How about a house wedding drenching? What about a house wedding gift? House wedding gift. Yeah. Oh, a wedding gift. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do H E T. Is that like how you like to wet your appetite? Yeah. yeah there's that too. Oh, it's, it's some kind of cheese plate or something like that? I need that. to look that up. Wet. It's a cheese plate. It's a charcu- charcuterie. Dude, to, to wet is to sharpen the blade of a tool or a weapon. You can wet your appetite, though. You can sharpen your appetite, too. It's, this, it, it's a thing that stimulates appetite. So when you're wetting your appetite, you're not like... Sa- to me, I always thought that was like make, you know, mouth-watering style stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, it, it it's both wet and wet. There's you, when you, well, well, no, when something wets your appetite, it will make your mouth become more wet. Yeah, but that's not really. That's not what they meant. I thought it meant that. Um, I just do want to say this, bef- uh, just in relation to the guy before we do go to this, to the, I think a lot of people think that you can put a completely used dish without rinsing it, put it in the dishwasher. That's not going to do anything. I mean, it is going to do some stuff, but it's not going to really... The way you do a dishwasher right is you clean the plate off completely so that you don't see anything. And then you put then you put it in the dishwasher. And you think, well, I just cleaned the dish. Why am I putting it in the dishwasher? Well, no, but you, that's a preliminary wash. They'll find something you didn't get. And then the dishwasher just does an extra coat, basically. Same thing with your butt. You wipe it thoroughly, and then you go to the shower, okay? Why can't Elon Musk make some kind of disposable butt? Disposable so butt? So instead of wiping your butt, wow, you just interesting. You just replace it. Interesting thought, Doug. Disposable butt. 
disposable butthole. I wonder if that could work. Is you'd have to insert a sort of tube into your butt. What about that? Now we're talking. No, a lot, like almost like, you know, putting on a disposable glove if you're working at Subway. Yeah, the, you'd have to put some sort of thing on that made it so that it protected your butt cheeks. I don't know. It's, Do it's, you remember our, our hipster bathroom from last week? How did that go? Remember there was like two words? I'm trying to remember what it was now. Oh, I can't remember it. I was trying to think of it the other day because it was so good. What you know, like it? those stores that are like happiness and cats or, you know, uh, lavender and peach. You know, it was something like brown and wipes or something <laughs> no but it was like more it doesn't matter we're we can't think of it we can't think of it well look let's, let's talk about let's let me talk about something serious well let's let's how about this let, we're gonna say this why don't we say this right now mm -hmm. we're gonna we got more messages from people mm -hmm. on the way but first we have a, a, a word from our a sponsor yeah, and this is a sponsor that I think is pretty cool because I've used I've I have actually used it before. It's uh, BetterHelp. It's um, basically uh, BetterHelp. Like it's it's, it's, ther it's, it's therapy. therapy that you can do remotely, and I've used it um, online. You've done it online. Yeah. I did it. Yeah, yeah, through Zoom. Yeah, or through it was online. Yeah. So basically, um, listeners, pound pimples. If something is interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, check out BetterHelp because now they're sponsoring the Poundcast. Go to betterhelp.com slash poundcast. And that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. Yeah. You will have uh, access to your own licensed professional therapist. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's And cool. you could do it. I did it voice only, but you could talk to them with video. You know, there's different ways to connect with them. Uh, you can start talking to your therapists within 48 hours. It's a safe and private environment, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Yeah, I was down in the dumps during COVID. Yeah. And I talked to a therapist on using BetterHelp. Oh, that's good. That's um, good, yeah. Now, l look, hear this out, okay? It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling this done is professional stuff. securely online. That's secure, Brent. And you can send a message to your counselor anytime. Mm -hmm. You will get, uh, I think you could text with them. You get timely and thoughtful responses. Um, you can schedule, you, you, know, you can schedule your weekly video or phone sessions. Um, yeah, I'll say, so here's a list of stuff that the counselors specialize in. Depression, stress. Anxiety. Relationships. Relationships. So hold on. Let's, let's do it back and forth. This will be kind okay. of fun. Okay, watch here. Depression. St stress. Anxiety. <laughs> Relationships. No, you got to go. Relationships. Relationships. Anger. Sleeping. <laughs> Trauma. <laughs> Family conflicts. It's not, <laughs> it's, not, it's not supposed to be funny, right? <laughs> Family conflicts. How about we say, how about we say, take like turns the dad. in? How about we say, yeah, <laughs> family conflicts now. <laughs> LGBT matters. Is that the end of it? No, there's, no, there's got to be. No, no. grief. Self-esteem. Yeah. I've pretty much suffered from just about all these dang things at it, some point. Th this service is available to clients all worldwide, okay? Because we got pimples. We got pimples worldwide. We bro. got pimples in... Wherever, you know. We got Pimples in Paris. <laughs> you know this song? That's a the movie we should make. Pimples in, in Paris. <laughs> Pimples in Paris. We should do that as a movie. Pimples so in look, Paris. everything you share is confidential. It's convenient. It's professional. It's affordable. And if you go to, if you go to betterhelp.com slash poundcast, um, you're going to get 10% off. 10% off. You can't beat that. I mean, come on. What are you going to do? Not take advantage of that? I know our pond pimples are well-adjusted, nice people, but anyone could gain uh, something from using a, a professional therapist, I think, Brent. Even you. Mm. I think you could. Mm. <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> what like, the face? It's like, mm, that's, uh, that tastes good. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, you just wet my... Oh, I just wet your appetite. You just wet my brain. Or I wet your you, therapy, you wet my, therapy appetite. You wet my emotions for this, yeah. So start living a happier life today. Um, and go to 
Once again, betterhelp.com slash poundcast. And join over one million people who have taken charge of their mental health. How about that? Wow. That's a Betterhelp, H E L P dot com slash poundcast. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now, let's get back into these phone messages. And now we're going to try to provide some help, maybe, if there is anything back like in that. It is. Here's one. Here's just a quick. I made some chili yesterday, and I had my whole family chili busting. Okay, yeah. She made some chili. Hey, so well, that's I, a reference to your chili busting. It, it is, but you know what? If she was being very, if she was serious about doing that, then I hope that she and her family um, thoroughly clean the dishes. <laughs> if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. If you know. What I mean. <laughs> Hey, Doug and Brent. Um, I was just hoping that you could help me out with a problem. Uh, this sure. is Patrick calling in. Uh, so with COVID and everything, been working from home for like two years now. But we finally got the uh, return to office plan. And through COVID, actually, like my team has moved buildings to like a new building. So I've been kind of slowly going in uh, a couple times here or there. But I noticed one major issue with the new area we're in. So I do know that there's like 90 people that are going to be working on this floor, but it's like a brand new floor. They put like did some construction and whatnot, like through COVID. But on this whole floor, out of 90 people, there's only uh, three bathrooms, one men's, uh, one women's, and then one unisex, which has like a door you can lock. But in the men's bathroom, there's a single urinal and a single stall. And so what I'm wondering is, like, once everyone gets back into the office and, you know, it gets around that, like, 10 o'clock in the morning after everyone's had their coffee, like, there's going to be a line to, like, take a shit for, like, hours, I feel like. I don't know how, even if you take 90 people and, and just say it's an even split between, like, men and women, I don't understand how this is going to work with, you know, 40 people or 40 dudes, like, all having to, like, take a shit at the same time and, you know, potentially fighting over that single stall or, you know, going into the unisex bathroom. Um, so I'm just looking for some advice here from you guys on, like, what to do. Should I, like, try and re rework my schedule um, so that I don't have to, like, take a shit during work or just wondering what, what to do here because, you know, I'm going back to the office about a month. I'm just, like, kind of getting worried about it. So looking forward to hearing your thoughts. All right, thanks, guys. Diapers, bish. I, well, I was going to – you read my mind. You read my <laughs> I mind. I tried to get in there before you did. Yeah, well, you know, there's a lot of ideas No, here. I got so many ideas. There's a lot of ideas, but also let me just say this. It's interesting that so far all three messages have had a similar brown theme to them, you know? <laughs> there's a brown theme going on here, which is great. I love brown themes. Remember the brown cast? We should change the name of the Browncast. No, but we did an episode called the Browncast. Yeah, I know. I remember. <laughs> we got to do another updated <clears throat> Browncast. Anyway. Um, well, well, first, my, my, let me just say, off top, why don't you look that up and talk to HR? Maybe that's illegal. You know, there could be some OSHA. There's got to be some kind of regulation. If you have X amount of employees, you got to provide X amount of stalls or something like that, you know? Right. Um. Well, the first thing I would do is put up the anonymizer. As you know, I invented something called the anonymizer that is just pieces of uh, card stock that you tape on the inside of the stall to, private, to privatize it. Not to privatize it, but, but to, ma to make it private. So people can't see your shoes and they're like, oh, here's, here's Patrick again <laughs> taking his long ass dump. They don't know who's in there. I, yeah, but that's not really his issue, though. His issue is the the there's not enough well, toilets for no, because that's going to be an issue when you're in there. You're going to feel stressed because you know people are going to be coming in. You're going to hear that door squeak. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like oh, they they want to go so bad, and I'm I got to go. I can't go at my own pace, right? See if you can sue your business. Your, see if you can sue them. You could say that you didn't. You didn't uh, provide the bathrooms. What if you? And did, then you could sue your workplace. You can also Make just some cash start out of the deal. You could start. You could just bring a bucket to work, and poo in the bucket and say, "Look what you made me do." You say that to the <laughs> boss. 
<laughs> Look what you made me do. There's nothing. There was nowhere else to go. <laughs> Look what you, made. you just come in <laughs> and everybody, with the bucket. All the sort of like the night around. watchman uh, in like uh, Ichab- the, the Ichabod Crane story. <laughs> oh, it's like a lantern. Story. He's it's like a lantern. Like, yeah, he's got this like the poo bucket. They're like, what the fuck, Patrick? Look what Patrick. you made me do. Look what you made me do. <laughs> The well, no, but you get everybody to do that if there's not a little poop room. bucket at your uh, at your at your desk at your cubicle. Yeah, you have your, your cubicle. pubicle. Your pubicle, P- pubicle, pubicle. Your pubicle, pubicle, and pubicle. Yeah, Look you just you made me do. <laughs> yeah, you just start doing that, and hey, bring lots of tissues. You know how you, like a, an outlet, like a power outlet, you could put something that doubles it. You can put a multiplier on there, like a, an adapter, yeah. if you will, or a power strip. Yeah. But, you know, they have ones that just plugs on, and you can now you have quad. You have four. Mm-hmm. What if they made a toilet like that where you can, like, put an adapter on the toilet and it splits it off into two? <laughs> you bring it in there, and, you're, you know, it'll be, like, up high, too, like a little ladder gets to it because, you know, it's, like, splitting it off right, and it's right, going right. up to double. And then the boss comes in, and you, you and another this- employee are – both taking tandem dumps and he's like what is this and you go look what you made us do <laughs> <laughs> we're engaged now look what you made us do do yeah that's funny actually. look what you made me that's do that's a really do. good idea a toilet made for two mm-hmm. which brings to mind another center in our life sketch do you remember the love toilet yeah that is so funny another very the good. flush they flush it together with, you know <laughs> it's one flush for both uh-huh. toilets <laughs> <laughs> you can sit on the toilet together. That's kind of like back to back. That, that is back to back. That was like face. That was cheek to cheek. It was cheek to you. That was a really funny idea. For yeah, that toilet. was but a good one. I like this idea though too. That both kind of <laughs> mini toilets they slide down into the poo slides or whatever the waste product slides down into the same toilet. That's a really nifty idea, and I like that it's kind of like a a bike a bicycle built for two in a way that there's two seats for one toilet. Yeah. <laughs> He comes in, and he sees both of you up on these things. Look what you made us do, and they're holding hands, too. What's kaopectate? Kaopectate. That makes you stop pooing, right? Is that right? You could just do a shot of that before you get to work. You could also just not drink coffee, too, by the way. I mean, of course, those are, like... Those are uh, those are real, but we don't try to do that. We try to give you, try to give you real ideas. Um, what if they're like the boss puts KO pectate because it's kind of like a I think it's kind of like a white liquid it's like a white thick well milky <laughs> liquid um, what, if, what if you just use that as creamer yeah KO pectate <coughs> creamer what would you like sir um, <clears throat> half and half oat almond milk I'll take the KO pectate oh sure how about this idea? Here, t- pick take max. I got a. Actually, here's an idea for you, Patrick. You go if there's only so many toilets available. Quit the job, dude. No, that gives. Yeah, you, it is, it's milky white. It's milky white stuff. This it, is perfect. If okay. there's too many toilets, that gives you license to leave the premises and find a toilet elsewhere. Meaning, you get a longer break. What if you just take a dump in the hallway? Look what you made me do. <laughs> and you smear it all over. What if you, <laughs> you smear it all over the... Start, leave, start taking dumps right in front of your boss's office. You know? Look what you made us do. You start eating it. Look what you made me do. All right, you want to no, do but, another one? Yes, I do, but I just want to say this. It makes it so you get a longer break. Because if you have to go to the bathroom, they can't, they can't penalize you for having to go poo and having to find a toilet somewhere. I would like to know what this job is. What is he doing? Does he love his job? Maybe it's something bigger. Maybe he should just quit his job. Find something he loves. Well, or I'm, he doesn't have to go into an office. I'm just saying, that he doesn't though, want Patrick, to you can go take a longer break and find a toilet elsewhere. That's nice. You get a you long You shouldn't break. have to not have your coffee, because I like to have a coffee in the morning. Okay, sure. It does make co- it doesn't make it makes you go hey you know what drink lots of coffee go poo lots of times that means lots of breaks and you're still getting paid hell yeah you can still get because they can they'll pay you for a bathroom break right well it's all part of yeah if you got a salary or even if you're an hourly hourly wage you're good to go baby you're getting paid to do you're getting paid to go poo that's actually not bad 
You ever wish, man, if I could get paid for the poo I've gone, I would, wouldn't be settling for the kind of house I'm looking for. What if they cracking down on that? You know what I mean? Butt cracking. <laughs> butt crack. So they're butt cracking down on they that. Get, we're gonna be butt cracking down on this. Yeah. Oh, you you you're not allowed more than one cup of coffee. You're not allowed to drink any prune. Ju- What's this prune juice? We're butt cracking down on you right we're now. We're butt cracking down on this. No, but I mean, imagine getting paid to go poo. You would be rich. I would be. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a rich man. I'd be getting the ultimate house in Larchmont. I'd be getting the a nice four bedroom, three three bathroom house with a pool and two stories in Larchmont if I was getting paid to poo. Well, you know, in Tom Goes to the Mayor, there was like one bit that they did that I th- I still think about to this day that I think is like actually a kind of a clever idea. It was like Bow? When they flush the toilet, it generates power. That was like one of Tom's ideas. Uh huh. Why not? Because it's it's a gravity system and it, the water's going down. Why can't it go through some kind of turbine? No. And you know, imagine the millions of toilets in L.A. If they're all doing that, that's Turn interesting. Poo but into, that, would, into Tesla power. Would that encourage people to waste more water to keep flushing? Oh um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it's like. Oh oh, you just blew your nose and put the tissue in the. Oh, go ahead and flush it. It gives us power. <laughs> Make money off it of it. It gives me power. It gives me power. <laughs> Imagine somebody just sitting on a toilet and just flushing it repeatedly and just sitting there and thinking, this gives me power. And it's like a throne. I'm All right, let's listen man. to this one. All right. Voicemail number four out of seven. Lay well, there, Mr. Pound and Mr. Uh, Weinerbacher. Just wanted to let you all know about a certain bathroom fiesta I had. I spent all day eating chicken. Then I had to unload myself quite quite violently in the middle of the night. And I, I realized as I got sat down on the commode, I had to do both. So I had to decide which one to do on the floor, which one to do all up on the in in the commode and which one to do all up on the walls and the tiles and all the nice things in the in the in in the certain room that i was in wait he has to do which two things i that i was gonna is it over no i no okay i'm i'm a little unclear i thought it sounded like he had to go i thought he was when he said he had to do both i thought he had to go pee and poo am i confused well i'm confused we're both confused all right let's keep going so maybe i mean clearly he's He's doing the whistle thing, and he's doing. Yeah. I think he's, it's a gag, but mm-hmm. like you know. And I decided to to do the 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 out out the front of me, all over the walls, and towels, nice things, and uh, and uh, number two into the commode. But then it turns out that the bathtub was just right next to me. So this was just a little story. I had to tell, and maybe I ought to whip my whistle a little bit before I gave you a call. Anyway, you boys, be safe and have a good one out there on the west coast in the in the wild west. Peace be with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, all right. Well, that was just a silly story, I guess. Yeah, uh, but I I wasn't quite sure uh, the, how the poop was he going. I thought maybe at one point he had two butts or something or what. No, it's not like he, he's like he couldn't decide which he had to pee and poo. And he's yeah. like one of them has to go on the walls and one of them has to go in the commode. I'm just gonna make sure that a commode is oh a commode is a piece of furniture containing a concealed chamber pot. Okay. It's like an old-timey toilet. Oh, so maybe he didn't have a toilet, and so he had to just put one thing in one? Yeah, hey, no, nah, he know. had a toilet. I don't know. That was just a goofy guy. All right, yeah. Hey, it was, it was a, just know, some goofball. It was a goof. Yeah, it was some goofball. Goof. Let's goof. play another one. What's next? We should tell people maybe later. Hey, Doug and Brent. Um, this is Chris from Missouri. Uh, long-time pound pimple, first-time pound caller. I've got some shout-outs and a uh, 
question or a problem that you guys might have a solution for. So uh, first shout out goes to Doug. I've been loving the um, editing tutorials that you've been putting on your personal Patreon. Those have been really awesome, really helpful. Patreon.com slash Doug Pound. Be, fo- and, uh, It'd be funny if he didn't do one for me. You know, so I got some a couple right. shout outs. He's got to give you a shout. A couple out. shout outs. You know, for the first one is for Doug, loving your stuff. The next one's for next like, one's uh, uh, for uh, it's for like Cam you know, George. Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah, Cam George. You know, he's man. That guy's really funny. Anyway, here's my my issue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. The second shout out's gonna be for Brent, but I'll get to that in a second. So. <laughs> My problem is, um, or I should say our problem is, me and my fiance are getting married, and she doesn't like all the attention on her. Um, so uh, she gets really nervous whenever there's a lot of eyes on her. Uh, so she's worried she's going to cry or just be uncomfortable at her wedding. What I've been thinking is maybe we could get surrogates for us at the wedding some actors that play the bride and groom, uh, which is obviously an idea I got from Brent doing his stand-up with surrogates, or with a surrogate. Um, but what else do you guys have to have to um, contribute to that, I guess? So the problems that we've thought of for that is that, you know, we want to talk with our friends at our wedding, too. So we want to be there. We don't want to um, just put those surrogates up there and let them do their thing. So how can we make this work? Thank you guys so much. Love you. Okay. Well, first of but, all, never get married. <laughs> let That's me say number one. Let me say this. I I actually had this idea for a surrogate uh, bride and groom um, years ago because I I myself don't like attention when it comes to that kind of stuff, you know. And I really I don't I don't I would I personally also feel uncomfortable to have I wouldn't want to have a wedding actually personally I would just want to get. I do want to get married. It's but so would, embarrassing being up there. Everyone's like staring at you. Yeah, but it's also the ultimate public display of affection in a way, and it just—I don't know. That's not. I, it's not. I don't like that kind of attention. So I thought, well, what if I hired actors, an actor to play, an actor to play me? Perhaps. Or it could be you and me, Nathan Fielder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the or hire an actor to just play the groom, me. Or have actors to play both of us, you know, and we that way, you know, my actual wife and I can see, watch the couple get married, and we can think, oh, that's us, you know. Yeah. That, that'd be kind. Of, I'd rather be in the audience, you know, if we're doing a wedding. So I totally talked about that. You know, I had a girlfriend at one point in my life. You know, believe it or not, Congrats. it's kind of crazy, but um, <laughs> at one point in my life, I had a girlfriend. We talked about that, and we were kind of thinking, we were joking about it, doing that, but we. I kind of, we kind of thought it could be a real thing. That would be so awesome. I I would like I wouldn't mind doing it because I that would be an unforgettable wedding. Well, that because that would be Chris, the way, you got to do it. <clears throat> yeah. Well, first of all, you could and do if you it. You want me to DJ at it? Let me know. Well, also, I'll be down. I'm down to play the groom actually, if you want. <laughs> I don't I, as long as it's not actually my wedding. I'm down to play. Get the some groom. like porn actors to go like hardcore. You may oh kiss the God. bride. They're just that's like, really ah. funny. Yeah, that's hilarious. They go in like nasty <clears throat> up there. That's really or actually funny. Chris, if you want. Say to your fiance, "Oh, you're too scared, huh? All right, well, I'm gonna hire someone to play your part, and you get hire some like super hot porn star. You get to have whatever you want to do with her." <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Well, you know, uh, but this is one last chance, though. You know, look, the, it's also do wedding- it for. Do it for your fiance. Do it for your wife. Weddings are a good compromise. I mean, a wedding like this is a good compromise for if one of them wants a wedding, the other person just wants to go to city hall and get and get married because that's what I would want, prefer to do. But this is a good compromise: is take the attention off the person who doesn't want the attention, hire actors. I I love it, and I'm serious. I'm down to play the. I'll put, play the groom. You know, I think that would be kind of funny. Well, here's the other thing he's that he mentioned. They still want to be there. Yeah, you can still talk. To talk to guests. But maybe this fiancé doesn't want all the attention that a bride would get. You So you, you first of all, you, you find the actors and you spend a day or two with them, coaching them all about what the kind of things you would say. Or maybe not even. Maybe people th- know it's you and well, you, know, I think- you're, you're can be the, you can be the best man and bridesmaid. Well, I, here's what I'm thinking. She does, they don't even want to be up there at all. Or she doesn't, at least. Here's what you do. You just... 
have signs up or it's in the program, you know, or whatever the, the invitation, please do not mention, congratulate or mention the wedding at all to the, to the actual bride and groom. All of those congratulations and so forth are going to go towards the actors, the surrogates, okay? And the surrogates can have GoPros on their heads so they can still like, be like saying it to them. And later, yeah. uh, later, they'll have like some kind of POV camera. So later, they can watch the tape back and they could still yeah. and meanwhile, hear those nice can, things. And meanwhile, you can also still mingle with all the guests and just... Oh, sorry. That scared me just now. I thought, dude, I got scared just now. You know that? I wonder if you caught that on tape and me getting scared. Did you, just, did you see that, Aaron? Is this still working? I got scared because I didn't know what... I thought it was a bug or something just now. I thought it was some... I thought it was some sort of bug making some noise all of a sudden. I'm on edge. It's you're fine. It's I gone. go. I went like this. I, I kind of went like. Did, it, did what did I do? Did I, I jump? I think you just did it again. When you moved, it did it again. No, you was when you moved. That's why I'm replacing it. Hmm. That was interest. That was kind of scary. But maybe there's a funny moment there. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look at that tape later. Um, <clears throat> by the way, um, well, you could also like hire these people to answer the questions or. Or they can vet the questions, uh, kind of thing. Um, like, oh, this is, I can still hear this thing going. <laughs> oh, I see. It's this guy. Oh, yeah. There we go. Um, they could be like, oh, you have a question for the bride? You know, kind of thing. Um, they're almost like a, a bouncer or like a security guard, like oh. an intermediate, like... Oh, you can. They can. You could be sitting at a table somewhere oh. else. And they're like, yeah, they want. They want to know um, if you have any honeymoon plans. <laughs> okay, hold on. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're going to Jamaica. <laughs> uh, well, cr uh, <laughs> Kevin and and Julie wish you the best. Uh, wish you all the best. Oh, they say they 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 love you and thanks for coming to the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> that's great that's great you that's know? actually how you do it you have earpieces yeah, for earpieces in, in the actors you have in these porn actors i do think it's pretty funny you get the porno actors and you get they're they're all they've got the tribal tattoo stuff uh -huh. and all that you know they're all kind of tanned you know uh -huh. hardcore and yeah they're just grinding and you could tell they're like super sexual the whole time <laughs> yeah that'd be so funny they're all inappropriate in front of all these families and stuff there's Flick, kids you know, like there. licking there's tongues kid. and stuff there's kids there too kids. running around um <laughs> That'd be funny though. The kids are. That'd be funny. The younger or the older kids are looking at over there, thinking, "Gee whiz," but um, <laughs> yeah, you have earpieces in them, and you guys have earpieces also, so that you can answer some of the questions people have about that stuff. Otherwise, you're just talking to people and having a ball. Okay, well, that's a great idea. I that's mean, look, a great idea. That's ad a... Advice. Well, you you already know the advice. You had it already solved. Although I I had that idea years ago. And I, I mean, I'm going to kind of be jealous that you're going to do it before me because I, I wanted to do that. Let's hear what this one says. Would have been an amazing wedding. How much time on the main episode here? Actually, why don't 58? we eight? Yeah, why don't we wrap up and then do the rest the rest yeah. and after that? Well, yeah, let's wrap it up today. We got to keep it a little tight because yeah, we got things to do. <laughs> Brent's got something mysterious to do. You got a show tonight? I'm gonna. I'm going to a play. And it's kind of early, so I, that's why. Yeah. I don't go to a play. I go to a stop. <laughs> I go to record. I go to pause, rewind, <laughs> eject is what I go to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go to plays. I go to ejects. Eject and throw the tape out. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Found Pimples. The scrotum tape? Double taped and yeah, threaded. Double taped. <laughs> taped and threaded. <laughs> that should be this episode name. Taped, taped and threaded. And threaded. <laughs> Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Uh, if you want to continue listening, we're going to go through a few more voicemails here in the After Dark section. Just sign up for our Patreon, patreon.com slash poundcast. Thank you to BetterHelp, betterhelp.com slash poundcast. And thank you to Louisville Vegan Foods, louisvillevegan.foods.com. Use the code word poundcast for 20% off, Brent. One closing Anything idea else? before. Well, let's, okay, we'll thank the team. Uh, Jackie Montana, Jack Birch, and Chloe Bonilla. Jack Birch is El Bircho on social media. Thank you to Aaron Bruntgart. Of course. He's um, behind the boards right over here. And thank you to All Things Comedy. Now, one last 
thought about this thing, this wedding, because all of them had that brown theme to them, except for that one, I can make it work. Everyone's going to kind of wonder. You're going to make it brown? Yeah, let's make it brown. Let's let's turn this white wedding into a brown wedding. <laughs> brown wedding. <laughs> so hey, I think. Hey, little sister. What you do is, since your fiance is going to, she doesn't, her reason is she doesn't like the attention, right? But people might not think that's a good enough reason. They might just think, come on, you know, grow some grow some threaded balls and <laughs> I don't know. Get you know, get on the on the altar or whatever. A more understandable reasoning reason is that she got diarrhea. So <laughs> get diarrhea both of you get diarrhea, get good get it together. Mm -hmm. You know, because the couple that gets diarrhea together stays together. Mm -hmm. And sprays together. Sprays together. <laughs> <laughs> sprays together. And that's that everyone would think, oh, you're right, that is a good reason why you got these actors to to play a surrogate role. So anyway, I'm just saying, make it a brown. Also wedding. get the white dress and make it brown in the back. So they're like, I'm not sure about that diarrhea. Oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Actually, you know what they do in Jewish weddings? They, they break the glass. No, they, they lift the this chair. This is up. a weird thing. They do. This is a old fashioned thing that they do. Well, you saw it too when you went to Moshe and Natasha's wedding. But they, after they get married, while the reception's happening, they consummate the, the marriage. Oh, like during right it? then and there. They and no, they they kind of made a joke of it at the thing, and they show the sheet having blood on it to show that she the, the woman was a virgin, I guess, or something like that. And I th that that's what they they did, and so I'm saying, after the I don't know, you could do something like that where you show the sheet that it's brown. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm opening for Tenacious D in September. Tenaciousd.com, check that out, and uh, we'll see you after dark. Or we'll see you next week if you don't do our Patreon. Peace. <laughs>